Hi there ladies, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is a different kind of video. Um, I am going to be talking about my introduction, talking about spring. Um, I have a new background. Um, I have, I made up a um, bouquet back there in, in a pretty vase and I did sort of a spring look. Um, on my face and also my eyeshadow. This is the uh, BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, my next video is going to be, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and I am going to be applying this eyeshadow here. Just wanted to share with you various eyeshadow palettes that uh, says spring. This one here is the Maybelline, the City City Kits Urban Light, which I haven't been using, but uh, those are all sp spring shades there. And then I have a Sugar Rush um, flower from Flower Beauty. I love this. I go through spells while I just use this. So uh, I really, really like it. And also this Brave Spirit from Makeup Revolution. Catch these spring shades. The only thing, I haven't been using it. <laughs> and then I have um, the NYX Professional Makeup Mystic Petals. Love this. So I think that is all the, um, oh, I do want to share one more here. This is the CoverGirl Ascension um, eyeshadow palette. Don't that just say spring there? Okay, enough with uh, the spring talk. Um, I'm going to get a drink of my, um, it's, it's not new, but it's new to me. Perrier <laughs> Strawberry uh, Carbonated uh, Sparkling Water. And I love it. Okay, I do want to mention some things about rosehip seed oil, guys. Um, wow. I did not know, as long as I've been using rosehip seed oil and everything and talking about it, I didn't realize it was a form of retinol and retin-A. So it's not as strong as the retin-A, which you know you have to have a prescription um, for retin-A, and I have been using it faithfully. By the way, I am going to be doing a update on my skincare very soon. But anyway, going back to the rosehip seed oil, guys, um, yeah, I, if you're not using rosehip seed oil, guys, and you are 40, 50, even 60, you better start using it because it, oh my gosh, it, it, it just goes hand in hand with all the retinoid. I did want to read to you a few things about the rosehip seed oil. By the way, I just want to share again, I've shared before why I started using uh, rosehip seed oil in the first place. Her uh, name on YouTube is um, Lil Poet, Susan Buchanan. And um, I will link her YouTube channel name, Lil Poet, and her, um, the link to her YouTube channel on the screen and in the description box below. Awesome lady. She does awesome videos. That's all I'm going to say. You have to watch her. Um, now, I mentioned before I got into uh, the Retin-A and the Retinoids, Retinol, um, I mentioned all this, okay? Uh, Rosehip seed oil video when I did the review. I didn't realize. I wasn't into... Um, using the Retin-A and Retinoids. So using uh, rosehip seed oil has a whole new meaning for me. So uh, like I said, it has loads of vitamin A. Okay, I wanted to read to you um, uh, 
from beautifulwithbrains.com. Uh, just a little paragraph. Rosehip seed oil has its fair share of vitamin A. So it, cl it clarifies as a retinoid in my book. Now, this is the lady from beautifulwithbrains.com. It's also gent gentler than most OTC retinoids like retinol or Retin-A. I will leave um, her link on the screen and in the description box below as well. So, okay, I wanted to read to you real, real quick here. Um, Rose hips are the seed pods of roses and are packed full of ingredients that are amazing for your skin. They are used to make tea, anti-inflammatory medications, and skin care. Rose hip oil is pressed from rose hips and contains vitamin A, that's the number one, C, D, and E, which contain antioxidants to keep skin rejuvenated and healthy. Omega-3, 6, and 9, which are nutrients, fatty acids, they minimize wrinkles, fine lines, boost hydration, and restore elasticity and smoothness. And it helps to um, create collagen. Rosehip oil works to smooth the complexion, even out skin tone. It is intensely moisturizing without clogging pores and improves overall skin condition. It can even help to reduce scars and fine lines by encouraging cellular regeneration and refining the skin's texture. So yeah, rosehip seed oil is where it's at. Even um, Susan Buchanan, Little Poet, I just mentioned her a while ago, she replaced um, Retin-A um, for rosehip seed oil. That's what she uses. But anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about, about the rosehip seed oil. Um, if you're not using it, you need to start using it, especially if you're 40, 50, 60 or older. I just turned 60, so. Okay, future videos. Um, I am going, of course, like I mentioned, I am going to um, be doing the eyeshadow look. Uh, lost in BH Cosmetics, Lost in Los Angeles. I'm going to be doing that and get ready with me. That's the next video. And then after that, I'm going to be doing applying false eyelashes. I said that before, but I'm going to be doing it. So uh, a <laughs> little apprehensive about it, but I will be doing it. And a third one is going to be an hourglass video. I'll be testing out some new, new to me, um, hourglass veil setting powder, and then use a favorite hourglass blush along with it. So I think that is all that I wanted to uh, discuss with you this morning. So if you like this video, give me some thumbs up, some likes, and if you enjoy my channel, subscribe. And uh, when you subscribe, always hit that little bell. And then you're going to see a window. Then you're going to click all. That way you will receive all of my notifications on future videos. So I hope you ladies are having a great day. Um, have a great week. I love you all. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hi, ladies. Welcome back to my channel. I am just testing out all the lighting and everything. I've moved things around. And I hope. You like this video. What I want to do. Hi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. Excuse the no makeup.